Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the John Wars. I believe this is episode 35. Man, we've gone a long way. Here in front of us we can see the board and whatever factions are left. I mean, as far as I can tell, um, the Pirate Empire is taking over pretty much everything. And these remaining factions here are kind of struggling to figure out how to survive here. I mean, if they manage to build up a big enough fleet, they might actually be able to fight back and maybe do something. But right now, it seems to be really tricky. I mean, yeah, as you can see, Delta Shipyards over there in the corner, they are being pushed back heavily. They only have so much left. The Federation is kind of just around here in the central cluster. The Alliance only has these two planets left. And the Pirate Empire seems to be doing some kind of pincer maneuver here where they're kind of just going around the sides here to surround them and probably attack from the middle here to further divide the forces. But we're going to see if that happens. Alright, so here we are. The Federation, for their first action, they're going to go ahead and move one of their fleets. They're going to move their one from the Trident Ice Flats over here to the uh, Trident Mountains, and they're going to try taking on this uh, fleet over here with one of their newer fleets. So, of course, their battleship, their frigate, and their fighters here. They're going to be taking on this very powerful fleet here, which I don't think they're going to be able to do all that much, but there's a possibility they might actually be able to do something. Who knows? Anyways, we're going to jump in and see if this battle uh, progresses uh, how I think it will. Here we are on Triton. There's a lot of mountains here, and as you can see here, we have two fleets. Well, this first fleet here, we have the Federation uh, fleet, just some fighters, a battleship, and a frigate. Over here, we have the Pirates fleet, which is pretty powerful. They've got quite a few ships here, especially some of the larger ships that can do a lot of damage. I'm unsure if the Federation is going to be able to do anything against this fleet, but maybe they might be able to pull something off. Maybe. As you can see, there's a lot of torpedoes being fired out. Our missiles going back and forth here. Well, that battleship has taken some pretty big hits there already. The entire front of it is gone. It's still approaching to try to do whatever damage it can. Or at least with whatever's left of it. You can see the fighters are just behind it. There's a torpedo going down after what's left of that ship there. Definitely some cannon shells coming over. There's a lot of missiles being fired as these fighters are just passing by each other. You can see all of these are just about getting close enough now. There's a lot going on out there. Now all these fighters are charging in, trying to do whatever they can. And all these close range lasers are going to do their thing. This battleship here is still holding on pretty well. You can see that frigate back there is doing whatever it can. You 
the air is a railgun being fired in all directions here. And these fighters are still doing whatever they can. pretty quickly. These other fighters are trying to get close enough, but they're not getting too close, unfortunately. That frigate out there is trying to keep its distance. It's firing from really long range. This battleship is also trying to keep its distance, because it knows if it gets too close it's going to get hit pretty hard. If enough of those cannon shells hit them, maybe some of these might take enough damage to fall. Shots coming. I believe there's another battleship up above somewhere that is firing away as well. Shields are still pretty much holding up on that ship, while in the meantime this ship is taking some hits. are still cannon shells actively moving around here and torpedoes are also moving in to do some damage you can see this battleship has taken some pretty fatal uh, hits here once it goes down that just means it's that frigate again. yeah the frigate's going to be up against everything and it's not going to last all that long there you can see the signals of all these ships here Surprisingly still a group of fighters down here doing whatever they can. So it really is just that frigate out there. While this battleship has fallen, is still firing. At least whatever's left of it. And now the remnants of the, uh... Yeah, I believe the last ship left is just this, uh, this frigate here, which is taking quite a bit of railgun. It is moving forward to get some more shots in. Frigate is definitely charging into battle here. Pretty honorable, but I don't know if it's going to survive. It, it's heavily outclassed. It's definitely going in with all of its guns, doing everything it can. Despite the circumstances, it is holding up pretty well. Armor 
armor is definitely holding up pretty well. Because he's turning there, some of his shots hit his armor. Because most of them. Some of them are still going to the center of the ship, which isn't too good. They is going in after these fighters, of which there are many. He's already starting to take some pretty big hits here. Frigate is now becoming the uh, center of attention for data targets here. The entire front of it just came off, so that's not healthy. There seems to be some shells coming in this direction as well. some torpedoes going in this direction as well. moving over there. Seems they just about missed. It doesn't seem to be key. Yeah. But this frigate is just Yeah, there's not much left of it here. Ooh, here comes more torpedoes. There it goes, completely disintegrated. Okay, the battleships are still operational, and I believe the uh, supercarrier over here should still be operational. This is kind of just hanging out on the side of the mountain here. Doesn't take much to test if it's still flight capable. As you can see, it is still capable of flight. So we're just going to go back to the board and we're going to go ahead and update that um, unfortunately the Federation did not win this battle, nor did they even do much damage to this fleet. Alright, with that battle complete, the Federation hasn't really got any progress in expanding in that direction. However, uh, what the Federation has done um, afterwards is that they've decided to build two new fleets. One of which, all the way over here, is extremely powerful and going to be very helpful. As you can see, carrier, battleship, frigate, corvettes. That's going to do plenty. And they're going to use that against Delta shipyards in the near future. They've also just made an entire uh, fleet of fighters over here. 
just so that way they can, you know, go around and expand this way if this fleet doesn't go after it immediately. Alright, um... Delta Shipyards. Their first action was to upgrade their northernmost shipyard to a level 2. So in the future they can make larger fleets up there and hopefully use that to expand. Then um, if you look down here, what they're doing for their uh, second action is they're moving one of their fleets that was here in Reach. They're moving it over here to the Mars Valley to take on a Fortress World. So we're going to see if they're able to take that from the Federation. Here we are, we're on Mars, and we can see here we have our uh, fleet from Delta Shipyards. It's a very small fleet, it's just one cruiser and two corvettes. And this small fleet is going to be taken on this fortress over here that's owned by the Federation. We're going to go ahead and declare war here, and we're going to see if it is successful or not. Almost immediately we can see all these ships are starting to move. Ideally, the corvettes should go forward to take most of the hits. That way, the uh, the cruiser can actually do the uh, the major damage once it gets up close. You can see it's going up to try to avoid the uh, everything over here. Still seems to be trying to aim at the uh, at the cruiser there, but that cruiser is definitely trying to. Uh, to get some distance there. The Corvettes are closing in and they are taking shots, which is not going to be great for them, but they're going to try their best. The cannon is getting a little bit closer with every shot. Those corvettes are quickly closing the distance there. You can see they are starting to hit the main gun there. These corvettes are getting pretty close now. Just rips the main can off its hinge. So that's one less threat for the, cor uh, the cruiser to deal with, actually. And that cruiser just about gets close. Yeah, that cruiser has just about gone close enough to actually uh, do a damage here. Because these turrets are starting to take it. Not much going on with the uh, defense here. They're trying, but it seems these Corvettes are. Is this Corvette seem to do perfectly with their roles of distraction? See all these turrets are very quickly being taken out. Just like that, I think that's every single turret eliminated. Not even a single loss in the Delta Shipyard side this time, so uh, that's a win for Delta Shipyards. So we're back, and well, we've reached pretty much the end of the, um, the end of this episode here. I'll go over what has been uh, done by the different factions. So of course, um, Delta Shipyards did spend its resources building up more uh, fleets here. Yeah, corvettes, fighters, and of course they did conquer that uh, that fortress. I believe it was that one there. Yeah, so they have conquered that. They're kind of just trying to escape from the pirates here. So with that done, we're moving on to the pirates, and the pirates have done a few things. For one, they moved their fleet over there, to the side here, to take over the Caldera Hills. They've turned that into a new shipyard. They probably can use that as a staging ground to move further up through this uh, cluster here. And then, uh, because they had enough money, they decided to spend almost all of it on uh, upgrading a fortress world. 
and I believe the fortress world they upgraded was this one here. So this is now a level 2 fortress world. That's going to be very difficult to take out if one of the factions sends a, uh, sends a fleet there. And then, uh, to finalize things, the Pirate Empire also decided to move one of their smaller fleets, such as entirely fighters, up just a little bit closer. So where they can just uh, attack one of these undefended sides over here. So I guess that's about it in this episode. As you can see here, not too much has changed. I mean, the Pirate Empire is still slowly moving its way up. Delta Shipyard seems to be moving a little more to the right, and of course the Federation is struggling to come up with some defenses, but it has managed to actually make a powerful fleet to take on uh, Delta Shipyards. So we'll see what comes out from that. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it here. If you guys are interested in joining us for Season 2, we have a Discord down in the description. But without further ado, that is the end of this episode. Take care, and I hope you all have a great day.